If you're looking to upgrade your style this fall, you came to the right place because in this video, I have over 10 different fashion trends that I want to chat with you guys about. And the best part is that you don't have to spend a ton of money. I got cameraman Bruce behind the scenes again. What's good, y'all? But wait, 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 wait. Where do you even hear about this stuff? No, so that's actually a good question. I do a ton of research online with some of the biggest publications like GQ and Vogue to see what they're talking about for 2023 trends. Plus I spend hours and hours a day looking at the other creators and just seeing what's online, what people are wearing. And that's what forms my opinions for these videos. You may disagree. You may not like what I'm talking about. That's okay. These are just my opinions, but let's jump into it. So the first fall trend that I want to chat with you guys about are football jerseys. And no, not the Liverpool shirts you've seen me wear over the past few months. I mean, American football jerseys. It seems like a lot of the largest brands recently have been putting out their own iterations of it. First one that jumps to mind would be Stussy in their latest fall drop. They dropped two versions, one burgundy, one black with the Big Surfer logo on the back, as well as Ame Leon Dor. They have released their own version of a football jersey. You'll hear me chat about that brand a lot just because I truly think they are one of the more influential brands at the moment, but they have recently released some of their own as well. Bro, I know you don't watch football. Yeah, you're definitely right. I don't watch American football, so this is not something that I will be be participating in for my own sake. But what I will say is that the key takeaway here is that it's not just American football jerseys, it's jerseys in general. It seems like a lot of the largest brands are putting out their own iterations of whether it being hockey jerseys, baseball jerseys. So the point is, is that typically jerseys have been worn for more fanfare or more athleisure looks, but you can have a lot of fun styling them in your own unique way. So grab yourself a hoodie or a long sleeve and put the jersey over top, throw it on with some jeans or some cargoes, just have fun with it. Um, but ultimately it does really seem like brands are putting their own versions of uh, jerseys in general and just having their own logos put onto it. And I'm, I gotta say I'm a big fan because I've been enjoying some of the ones that I've been seeing. Next up, it's time to talk about sweater vests. Okay, well how am I gonna wear sweater vests and not look like Carlton from Fresh Prince? That's a very good point. So the key answer here is to wear them like Tyler, the creator. He is honestly top two most stylish celebrities at the moment. His art and his music is great, but his style is honestly impeccable. And the way that he oftentimes wears them is a very similar blueprint that a lot of us can follow. He grabs a white t-shirt. He puts a sweater vest over top. If you notice that the sweater vest itself is very colorful, there's a big print on it and he has a matching hat or some type of matching accessory to sort of complement the colors of the sweater vest. And then he'll throw on a pair of slacks or chinos and wear some loafers or a very simple sneaker. And that is something that I think is really effective. And it's a great look if you want to look a little bit more presentable, but still have a lot of fun with your outfit. Another key takeaway is that it makes for a great piece to wear under some of your outerwear. You could wear it under a jacket, a denim jacket, for example. Some of my favorite ones that I've seen on the internet recently are from Todd Snyder. You can get ones from J. Crew. You can go with Beams Plus as well. So there's a ton of different varieties out there. It's important to have fun with it and get something that it has a little bit of a pattern or a brighter color. I think those ones always look the best. So uh, you guys should definitely check out sweater vests. Similar to sweater vests would be printed cardigans. And these ones function similarly in that they have a busy print or a bright color and they typically are like the statement piece of the outfit you know the whole outfit revolves around you wearing this really dope cardigan and uh, if you guys remember from last year Shannon Sharp kind of went viral because he was had a little bit of a tussle courtside at a, at a NBA game and a lot of people were wondering where he got that cardigan where it was from what was the brand it was I remember on like the fashion TikTok it was kind of buzzing a bit also there's that show uh, Beef and one of the main characters the husband he has all all of these really dope cardigans that he was wearing in the show, one of which was from John Elliott. So, and the point is that when you have a fun cardigan like that and you style it well, it can make you come across as more stylish because it is in some senses a little bit more risky. And so some of the brands that I recommend shopping from would be Beams Plus again. That's a great brand for sort of those, some of those traditional American style pieces. Um, another one would be Adidem Asterix, um, which is a Canadian local brand that I highly recommend. They are doing some incredible stuff, super underrated, but also Supreme. Supreme each and every season drops their own mohair cardigans, which is another great fabric that you guys should look out for when it comes to cardigans. And yeah, they always have really cool ones that end up selling well. Uh, so I highly recommend checking out some of those. Okay, so let's move on to outerwear. One of my favorite segments, I love a good jacket or coat. And we're gonna start off with puffer vests. Vests in general have been honestly one of my absolute favorite pieces of outerwear for so many different occasions. When you think of fall, you think of layering. And I promise you, there's no better layering than wearing a vest over top of the sweater. And so first brands that come to mind would be 
Kith and ALD. They just released their own different versions of puffer vests and the way that they style them in their lookbooks is honestly impeccable and it's really tempted me to go buy them. The good thing is, is that you don't have to go spending that kind of money. You don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. In fact, you can look to the secondary market. Eddie Bauer is a brand that has been around for a very long time and they have some expert, some amazing quality uh, vests that they've dropped over the years that you can find on eBay and places like that. Now, in general, one of my favorite cuts of a puffer vest would be ones that have a V-neck. And the reason for that is because they look excellent when we wear them with hoodies. So if you have one that goes all the way up to your neck, it can be sometimes a little bit tricky to, you know, pop the hoodie out. But when you have one that has a little bit of a V-neck, um, I find that they just wear so well with hoodies. Stussy, I grabbed one from them last summer as well as Represent and Cold Buxton. Those are all great options for puffer vests. And like I said, fall is all about layering. So when you wear a hoodie or a sweater and you have the sleeves popping out with the contrast color vest on it, I find it's just a really clean look and it's something that's very transitional. You can get a lot of use out of it because it can be worn in the winter time, it can be worn in the fall, all the way to the spring. And uh, you know, you can still repel some of the elements if it starts snowing or raining or whatever like that. So puffer vests are an absolute must for me. Okay, so now it's time to talk about fleece. And I gotta be honest guys, I think I I'm obsessed with fleece jackets. I absolutely love fleece jackets for a number of reasons because of the texture that they provide to any outfit, which is something that is a very underrated detail that people, a lot of people don't really think of, but that is a really good quality to have in your outfit is just different textures and different patterns and colors and stuff like that. So anyways, fleece jackets, one of my favorites. And I think Stussy has been the trendiest in terms of the uh, fleece jackets. They have a lot of viral jackets that have been selling for a lot of money. You know, the one with the eight ball in the back was one that really, really popped off last year and two years ago. And I can imagine that they are going to be selling a ton of those. In fact, in their most recent fall winter drop, their printed fleece jacket was the first thing that they sold out on, or at least one of the first things, because I was there at uh, 1101 or 1201 or whatever, and it was instantly gone. So um, their Stussy fleece jackets are an absolute must. I grabbed the black one and uh, I can't recommend it enough. I also picked up one from ALD from their recent summer sale that they just had and I got a really great discount on it. I actually went with this like coral color, which I think is really clean. Um, so the point is, is that it's fun to get ones in different colors and styles. And I just find that those ones are typically the ones that go first. However, there are a ton of different varieties as well. If you're looking for something that has a little bit more of an earth tone to it, every other Thursday is a small brand by Ethan Glenn, who is a TikTok creator that I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of. He's a great follow on social media as well. They are releasing some great fleece jackets in this nice natural color, which I think is really clean. Um, and I grabbed uh, the navy one from last year and I can't recommend it enough. It was one of my favorite outerwear pieces that I wore. Uh, Patagonia is also another brand that is super classic. And uh, they, of course, have some amazing uh, fleece jackets in different patterns as well. So they actually have a ton of different colorways. So I highly recommend you guys check some of those out. Okay, okay, that's actually dope, but it gets so hot sometimes. What about the people that live in Texas? Okay, that is very true, but Texas, didn't you guys have a crazy cold front a couple years ago? I don't know if you guys were so prepared. Maybe you get yourself a fleece jacket and uh, you'll be all right. Okay, one thing I will say though, let's move on to waxed canvas jackets. This is like an, a traditional English style hunting jacket. And there was a bunch of trendy moments that popped off last year that I think are worth talking about. First one is Barber, which is like the tried and true classic. There was a ton of articles written about this style of jacket, specifically also for Noah, which is led by Brendan Babenzin, who's the creative director of J. Crew. He put out a slew of these jackets in different colorways that sold out. And um, I can't recommend these enough. They're just really clean looking as well. I actually bought like an affordable alternative to it, which would be the Uniqlo short blouse in. Um, this is a really great recommendation as well because they, you can buy them right now. So I'll be sure to leave links in the description. The point being is that this is a very uh, traditional style jacket on sort of like more of like the menswear side. So you can definitely get some uh, great looks off in that sense. For this Uniqlo jacket, I highly recommend sizing down because they do fit big. I'm wearing a size extra small here and I'm 5'7". Okay, let's talk about leather cafe racer jackets. If you guys remember earlier in the year, LeBron kind of had like a tr viral fit moment where he was wearing the black Amelie Leandor racer jacket. Bro, that's expensive. Yes, it's very expensive, but it's also something that you can get on the secondary market. There's a ton of different cafe racer style jackets that are both leather or nylon that you can wear. And I feel like with the resurgence and the popularity of F1, this is something that a lot of people would enjoy getting into just because of the racing roots that it has. Um, and ultimately leather does lend itself to more of a fall vibe. I mentioned this in a, at the top of the year, my January video. And I feel like now is really when it's gonna 
pop off. So definitely check out uh, sites like eBay or Grailed uh, for leather cafe racer style jackets. Okay, it's time to talk about pants now. If you're still rocking skinny jeans, it may be time to give them a break. Baggy pants are still here to stay. And in many ways, if you think of when jeans were created, they were meant to be wide fitting. So in many ways, it is sort of like a back to the roots kind of situation here. Regardless, uh, brands like Uniqlo, The Gap, and Levi's all have their own versions of a more relaxed fit that I highly recommend. But one of the biggest like sub trends within denim right now would be selvage jeans. I know you guys probably follow Drew Joyner and he is like spearheading the selvage denim movement and for good reason, they're really great. Now, if you wanna dip your toe into the trend, you can go for a brand like Uniqlo that has uh, their own slim selvage denim. I have them and I wear them all the time for more of like a menswear or, or more of an elevated kind of look. But I just recently picked up a pair of Naked and Famous denim, which I absolutely love. They're uh, made in Canada with Japanese denim. So uh, there's so many different options to choose from. I also recently went uh, to Soho where I shopped at Blue and Green, which is another distributor of like Japanese Americana uh, type of stuff and they have a lot of different salvage jeans that I was able to see in store. So uh, that was a really cool experience. So it's really fun once you sort of go into that rabbit hole of salvage denim, but uh, ultimately you are sort of paying and investing in a good quality uh, handmade product that ultimately is gonna last you a very long time. And I think that we all can agree that buying good quality items is something that is definitely worth the money. And from a menswear perspective as well, there were a pair of chinos that uh, had a bunch of articles published about them. A little bit of a trendy moment last year. Um, and they are the Giant Fit Chinos from J. Crew. Uh, these ones are really great. They come in a wide variety of different colors. They're pretty affordable as well. And ultimately, it feels like even from a menswear perspective and tailoring, it is still skewing a little bit more of the wider fit. Um, so if that is a style or a you know way of dress that you relate to, then I definitely recommend picking these up. I think I'm gonna make a whole video about this so let me know in the comments, but uh, there are a number of aesthetics, I would say, that are very trendy at the moment as well that you can adopt for fall. First one that jumps to mind, and it's been kind of like a buzzword in the fashion world recently, is sort of that like old money aesthetic, um, which is basically just like traditional Americana, Ralph Lauren, Brooks Brothers type of style that is, you know, had a big resurgence recently, and it's very sort of preppy, waspier style. And I feel like that is like a way that people are gonna be dressing um, that you'll see on social media and Instagram and stuff like that. And I think it's great because it kind of gives off like a confident vibe to it. I mean, when we all dress in a suit and we sort of have that sort of elevated look to us, I feel like we all look and feel important, right? So I feel like that is one of the biggest benefits of that old money aesthetic. Alternatively, on like the streetwear side, which is like one of my favorite ways to dress, I feel like all black is having a moment right now. And uh, over the past few years, at least, you know, you hear that like kind of term, like that opium den type of look. And honestly, I, I kind of giggle at it, you know, cause I, it makes me think of like Playboy Cardi or whatever those guys, but either way, all black is I think is a very fun way to dress. And my favorite aspect of it is cause you can add on a ton of layers and a ton of detail to the outfit. So, you know, you could throw on a jacket, a hoodie, a hat, like you can just layer on all of these black uh, garments, which really adds a ton of uh, detail to the outfit. So if you guys want me to make a video about like aesthetics and ways of dress, definitely let me know. But that does it for the video guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more fall content, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.